with us. I see you can't see them, so let's say hello. All righty. <laughs> we hope everybody is doing great this week. Yeah. We hope that you're dancing a lot and doing that hook up close and yes. personal. That is so sassy. Uh -huh. How about those Broadways, huh? You like that? Resilience, we're just making sure it's all smooth. Mm -hmm. it felt pretty good. Oh, it felt so good. Yeah, it felt pretty good. I forgot a little bit here and there. We got to back up the music, but we're just like, get it. Yeah, get it really solid in the head, so that's good. So, we have one outstanding issue that we thought we want to talk to you about. Yeah. So, like Visions from the Attic, what we did is we said, okay, the names of the moves are after things that you would find in an attic. And so I thought that was really cute, and we asked people to contribute um, ideas, and we got lots of ideas yeah. on Facebook, yeah, we did. and then we named the moves after them. Okay, same thing for resilience. Now we've talked a little bit about what resilience is, mm -hmm. but one of the things that I think about resilience is that to be resilient, you really have to have a virtual uh, toolbox of skills. You know, as life gets tough, and things are challenging and we're facing difficult times, you know, we do have to be strong and resilient. So how do we do that? So we each end up as we mature, as we grow up into adults, we end up collecting a virtual toolkit of coping skills, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so what I thought we could do is perhaps name the movements in resilience out of the various coping skills. I mean, there's so many and right. they're varied. Right, it depends on the person. Really. It does. Yeah. So for example, if you're stressed, mm -hmm. how do you spend your time, for example? What's one of the things um, in your toolkit? I really like to paint. Yes. I find it very soothing. Yes. Yeah. What else do I do? You turn, well, you turn to your art. I think that's yeah. a really good one. I know that when I'm stressed, I choreograph. I listen to my music. I dance. I mean, I really go deep into the things that give me great joy. Right. So we do turn to our art. Right. And, and I think that's one of them. So I don't know how to use the terminology for right. that. Yeah. But, but I think that's a concept that's good. So what else do we do? We, um, we rely on friends. Right. Reach out. We reach out to people. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, what other, other things that we do? Um, bounce back. Yes. Um, Postpone our emotions. Yes. I mean, that's one of the most important things. I think about resilience is the ability to postpone your emotional response mm -hmm. until the right time and place, yeah. right? And not fall apart in the, mood, in the moment. Like, let's say that your car breaks down on the side of the road and you're, you know, it's getting to be dark and you're there alone and you know, that is not the time to have a crying fit. Right. It's just not. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to postpone your emotions. Right. right. So that ability to really control your emotions until it is the right time and place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't even know, like, how to turn that. So I thought maybe we'd come up with, like, vague concepts. Right. And then we could figure out words that mean it. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Any, any other? Let's, let's see if we can come up with, like, one more before we listen to music. Uh, go on walks. Um, I don't want to say eat. <laughs> we that. Uh, but oh, uh, uh, pray. Some people yes. pray. Yeah. Yes. I mean, so there are a lot of things that we have in our in our virtual toolkit of coping skills, mm -hmm. and everybody is different. So that's kind of the idea that we have about naming the moves. Now we've got temporary names on like everything yeah. now. That's kind of how we're communicating about the things <laughs> of resilience. But they're unrelated to the concepts of resilience. So we're ready to like get to the fine tuning of this class yeah. to where we really clean it up. Yeah. So really what I would love it is if you think of any words that you think represent coping skills, uh, that we need in this world, then please suggest them. Go to our chit chat and that little button that's right below in your membership <laughs> and just click chit chat and just share the word. You yeah. don't even have to give a lot of explanation if you don't want to. Just like throw the word out there. So that really helps. And then it would be kind of cool because when you do resilience, you'll be like, oh, yeah, we did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Remember when um, we named a move Tinkerbell uh -huh. and Katie? Yeah, and Katie. she got so excited. She got so excited. <laughs> she was like, "You're baby Tinkerbell." That's what I said. Yeah. 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 So it is, yeah. it is really fun. We yeah. love to have.
have your help and collaboration on that. Yeah. Okay. Sending lots of love. Yes. Right? Just sending lots of love, strength, vitality. Yes.